guys, what's going DJ? And in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 7 of Random Girlfriends. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. No, what you talking about? I mean, it's a little obvious, though, but... I don't know. Oh my god, pause her. If Ruka just promised you she's not gonna say anything, she's not gonna say anything. Wait, <laughs> Well, you know, he's smooth at saving him. Exactly. See? I knew it. <laughs> I had a feeling, because I was like, you know, I mean, especially with last week, it would have just been funny, and been like, no, and then she'd be like, oh, really? But I am. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
but I kind of want to wait until next month. <laughs> I know. No, Mizahara, there's no reason to complain about it. Already, damn. And speaking of which, let me guess, Ruka. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but still, because of the fact that you're dressed like that, <laughs> well, like. So adorable. Oh. What? Are you trying to study? God, his pride as a man is now gone. Mm, poor baby. <laughs> if she didn't say anything, we would have been all okay. But no, she had to open her big mouth.
You know that she's picking you. I'm sorry. Um, Oh, Luca. Excuse me. I mean, that's like, ooh. I mean, good for you. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean that too. I mean, how old are you though? Yeah, I was wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I gotta say now, Rook is a little hard headed. It was on accident, though. <laughs> this girl, I can't. <laughs> exactly. This is so awkward, oh my god. She's not even gonna do anything to him. I mean, she has no feelings for him. Yeah, probably she does, but, you know. But she knows that this is just a job. She'll be okay. She'll be fine. Thank God, I mean, you just really met her. Okay. 
Okay. Exactly. I mean, because not only with the fact that she has a 90% on her feelings and how her heart goes when you know, when she got hugged, but... <laughs> I mean, you guys could blackmail her. I don't know about that, though. Yeah, but it's just, uh, it sounds like such a bad idea. I don't know. <laughs> True, but... Please don't hurt yourself, though. Damn, everything. No! Uh -huh. Well, at least she didn't break your back. I mean, but the thing is, she's just going on how her heart feels around certain guys. I mean, that's a little effed up. You're dating them because of that. And then if you find someone better, you'd be like, screw that. Thanks for the rental. <laughs> I mean, she's a little too much. She adorable. Oh. 
Yeah, that's the only thing that you can do. Mm hmm Yeah, because you like you. I mean, this is just complicated. It, it's not. Mm, it's just this. <laughs> yeah. And now she knows where you live. So. Mm -hmm. So just say yeah. Are you like a, Oh, we are getting a special ending for her. <laughs> That's so cute. Oh my god. Oh. She adorable though. I just got a lot of questions about her. But she does seem like the type of girl you already saw right then and there. However much like beats per minute that Kazu made her feel. Could have been like what she said, 78. So, of course, for freaking, not Kazu, Cuddy. Kazu made her feel 90. It's a little weird that she's using it by her heart beats per measure. Like, it, it, I, mm, I've never seen an anime do that before, but I'm curious. I, I just wonder why um, she's using it by the beats per, per minute. It's interesting, but... I mean, because of the fact that she's going from hopping from guy to guy. I mean, doesn't that... I cannot believe I'm going to say this. And I, to me, it's going to sound rude because I would never want to be called this. But this is typically what guys call girls when they're like this. A whore? I mean, even though she ain't really sleeping with a whole bunch of guys, she's just using them all as trial versions until she found Kazu. I mean, technically, he a man whore, so, I mean. <laughs> Who also black culture? Can you imagine if, like, Mommy comes into this next episode and then, let's just say, Ruka and Kazu, they're walking somewhere and Mommy's just walking around because, you know, Christmas is like that. And they, like, walk past each other. What if Mommy puts two and two together? I mean, we all know Mommy is a smart bitch. We do. We do. And still, everybody hates her. But I feel like, as I said again, there's going to be a point where we're going to like her. But I don't know. I mean, Ruka, like, she's adorable. She's nice. She's sweet. But I'm like... <sighs> I don't know, like, her, the, the gist of her is interesting, the reason why she's doing what she's doing is very interesting too, but I feel like she's just here to play him, I feel like there's gonna be someone else who's going to give her maybe 100 heart, um, heartbeats per minute, or 200, or like, to the point where this girl is gonna be like, her heart's gonna be, eh, 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 eh. and it's just gonna be too much for her. I don't want to say that she's gonna move on from him, because it seems like she really wants to stay with Kazu, even as a trial period right now, to see where this relationship could go with them. And it could possibly blossom into something else. But because of the fact is Kazu is, like, not really in love with Mizuhara, more of like, but he is going to realize more of his feelings that he does have something else for her and that he wants to be with her. I mean, it's really since ever since the masturbation episode and, you know, the difference between lust and love and what he... What he once and ish like that it seems like it maybe i don't know i mean how many more episodes we got with this show i think this is what a 12 13 episode series i just i i want to see him with mizuhara because they're just so 
they click together. Ruka's cute and adorable and interesting. I just think the dynamic between them and every single time when I look at her, she's always wearing her freaking like schoolgirl costume. So I'm like, yeah, I can't. Like, I, I know there's probably a lot of people who are like, yes, this is my best girl. Yes, I ship him with Kazu. I'm over here. I'm like, I, I see her as like the little sister type. I can't really ship her and Kazu together because he, she looks like a little sister type character. And it even said on her freaking profile. So I'm like, uh, I'm good. <laughs> like, no, mm -mm. to me, no. That's like how with so many people with P5. Wanted to date uh, Futaba and how Futaba is like the little sister. I was like, mm -mm, I'm okay. Uh, you you just be my adorable little sister. I can't do that. Like that's just me. I don't know how some of y'all feel about that, but mm, I don't know. I'm just waiting for the last girl to come because I want to know what her thing is. And she's also another girl who I've been waiting for. But yeah, this was a really good episode, and I'm glad that we got another episode focused on Ruka. And I honestly cannot wait to see what the first date for these two will look like, if it's really going to be good. I mean, no matter what, everything's just a trial run in the end. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view choice episode 7 of Rent a Girlfriend. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode 8. Bye, guys.